Hi, how are you today? This is Auntie Nets Crochet. Glad you chose this tutorial video. Do subscribe to my channel. The subscribe button is at uh, this corner over here. It will mean a lot to me. There are hundreds of videos in my channel, so do check it out. And today, I'm going to make some granny square with this heart shape. These are made from cotton yarn. 8 ply cotton yarn and the uh, tutorial pet, uh, video for this pattern is in the earlier post I'm going to share the link to that post in the description box below so today this particular video is all about the granny square so I'm going to make two of it one like this and one like this two type of granny square depending on what's your project how's your project whether you need this side or this side and uh, the cotton yarn looks like this I got multicolor cotton yarn for the outside and a red one for the inside the heart these are 8 ply cotton yarn it's like 8 strands joined together to become a very thick yarn so this type of yarn is good for making bags and hats so for the bag I'm going to make a bag with this but it's gonna be in another post so do subscribe and stay tuned and for this particular project I'm going to use a 4mm hook okay now let's start okay before I start I'm gonna add marker to mark my corners the four corners of the granny square so I'm gonna start from this tip here heart shape I'm gonna start from this tip here from here you count one two three four five you add a marker and from this marker to this marker one two three four five six seven eight there are eight stitches apart same here to here one two three four five six seven eight and from here to here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And from here to here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If you do not have 8 stitches apart, it means your heart shape is uh, wrong. Either you got an extra stitch or you lost one stitch. Okay, so we're going to start from this corner here. Put my hook here and grab a yarn. I'm going to leave a little bit longer tail so that I can hide it along when I crochet. So this I'm going to make it like my single crochet and I'm going to go to the next stitch. I'm going to do a single crochet then I'm going to go to the next stitch I'm going to do a half double crochet yarn over and you're going to put through all the next stitch we're going to do a double crochet and the final stitch here before the marker we are going to do a double crochet and also a treble crochet means you yarn over twice on your hook and do it on the same stitch you put through two put through two so I repeat it's actually single crochet single crochet half double crochet double crochet and this is a double crochet and a treble crochet all in the same stitch so we've come to the marker here means this is our corner so I'm going to chain three one two three I'm gonna remove the marker I'm gonna do a treble crochet you yarn over twice go to the next stitch and you put through two by two and then you 
yarn over you do a double crochet in the same stitch there we have one corner here and the next stitch I'm going to do a double crochet the next stitch I'm going to do a half double crochet followed by a single crochet in the same stitch then I'm going to do a single crochet single crochet let's see if I can still hide more of this tail if not you can just cut the bits away then another single crochet and then yarn over you're going to do a half double crochet and the last one here this for this set you're going to do a half double crochet and a double crochet into the same stitch so you're gonna look like this and you should have 11 stitches so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so one stretch here you will have 11 between your corners so I've reached my marker here I'm gonna make another corner chain 3 remove my marker I'm gonna do a double crochet here followed by a half double crochet into the same stitch and I'm going to do half double crochet in the next stitch another half double crochet in the next stitch a double crochet in the next then a treble crochet into the middle part here Then I'm going to come back with a double crochet a half double crochet in the next another half double crochet in the next stitch and the last one here we're going to do a half double crochet followed by a double crochet so this here will kind of cover the part here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven stitches okay now I'm going to go to this corner and do another corner chain three one two three I'm gonna remove this marker so we ended with the double crochet so now I'm gonna do a double crochet in the next with a half double crochet into the same stitch then we're going to do a half double crochet in the next and we're gonna do single crochet in the next stitch a single crochet in the next stitch another single crochet in the next stitch then we're going to do single crochet in the next stitch with a half double crochet in the same stitch Then we're going to do a double crochet and then we're going to do a double crochet in the next stitch and a treble crochet in the same stitch you put through two 
through to oops. And I reach a marker here means this is another corner so I'm going to chain three and I'm going to make another treble crochet one two yarn over two twice go to the next stitch and do a treble crochet you put through two put through two put through two and you're gonna do a double crochet into the same stitch and another double crochet in the next stitch and a half double crochet in the last stitch and I'm gonna slip stitch here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so here one more Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have eleven here and also eleven here. Okay, the next row is easy. Chain two. This will make one double crochet count as a double crochet and I'm just going to double crochet all around whoops okay let me do that again on top of every stitch we're going to do a double crochet You should have 11 double crochet in each uh, section, each core, each sides. And when you come to the corner here, you do two double crochet into the space, chain three space. And this time, instead of chain three, I'm going to chain two. Yarn over and do double crochet again, two double crochet into this. Uh, same stitch the chain space so you're gonna look like this if I continue to do chain 3 chain 3 the hole will be bigger so I just chain 2 so it's up to you whether you want to chain 3 or chain 2 okay there are two double crochet inside the space chain two and another two inside the space and now just double crochet on top of every stitch so you make sure you have 11 stitches in each uh, side I think this color is kind of sweet Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. So I come to the corner here. Do two double crochet. Oops, let me get that again. Chain two. And two more double crochet into the space. And then eleven double crochet.
11 double crochet and then now I'm going to go to the corner to double crochet into the space area chain 2 and double crochet into the space oh, I'm almost there So how many granny squares have you made? And what do you make it into? A bag? A blanket? Or maybe just a decoration piece would be nice too. reach the corner again to single crochet into this corner chain two do I have eleven here two four six eight ten yep should stop here two four six eight ten eleven cut my yarn go to the top of the chain two Join it and it will be a perfect square. Later I'll show you where I put this to make it uh, foam. Because once you crochet it kind of like curl a bit. I'm going to stretch it out in a pack board now yeah, remember to cut this always cut every single piece and not wait until the end because if I wait until the end I'm bound to miss one of it okay just put through this is more secure like well hidden oops I shall cut this off and there we have our first piece of granny square heart shape granny square okay now for the second type of uh, granny square but the same heart shape same thing I'm gonna add marker but this time round the marker is different because the corner will be here and here and here and here it's uh, what you call that diagonal I think <laughs> the other one is this way now it's this way so I start from here but this is the corner 
so from here count eight again count eight it's it's the same eight uh eight stitches away for one set so here to here eight again here to here here to here but the number of stitches and the type of stitches is different the pattern is different so now i'm going to start from next to it here because if I start straight from here, it's going to be a chain 3, so I'm going to start here. I leave a bit of a tail, so that I can join some tail here, to make it more secure. Here, I'm going to do a chain 2. 1, 2. Chain 2. And then here into the same spot, the same stitch I'm going to do another double crochet sorry when I say another double crochet means this um, chain 2 represent one double crochet and this one it's another double crochet so there's two double crochet here and now chain 3 1, 2, 3 to form the corner and remove the marker you're gonna yarn over go to the next stitch which is this tip here I'm gonna hide this as well it's a double crochet make sure you put your hook here and not here here it looks way better if here you can see the line go overboard go over the triangle so here one double crochet another double crochet so after this two double crochet next one is going to be a double crochet as well Next stitch is going to be a half double crochet. Half double crochet means you yarn over all. Then another half double crochet in the next stitch. Another half double crochet, the following stitch. Then the next one half double crochet followed by a double crochet into the same stitch the same stitch you're gonna do a double crochet so here double double here double half double half double half double then you have a half double and a double half double and a double in the same stitch and next stitch I'm going to do a double crochet okay this one see if we can hide if not you can pull a bit later it will hide inside you just pull a bit and continue to crochet okay where was I uh, oh okay double crochet almost to the marker here it's gonna be a double crochet as well double crochet and now you try and pull this back nicely you will hide inside so we have a half double double then we have a double crochet this is a double crochet as well but in the same stitch we're going to do a treble crochet yarn over two by two and we have reached the marker here so at this marker point here oops what have i done here <laughs> 
So this is a eight ply and have to be really careful. Okay, so the marker is here, so I'm gonna yarn or oh, I'm gonna chain three. One, two, three to make a corner. And I'm going to yarn over twice. Go to the next stitch and do a treble. This is a treble crochet. After the treble, the next one is going to be a double. So hold on first. Let me count from here to here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. So from here until here, I should have 11 stitches. So now I have a treble and a double. I'm going to do a double again. After the double, I'm going to do a half double. Next stitch is a single, followed by a half double in the next stitch. Then it's going to be a double crochet in the same stitch. I'm going to do a treble, yarn over twice. So here you put through two by two. And now, uh, very special treble, you're gonna yarn over three times. Three times. You go to the next stitch. And you're gonna put through two by two. You hold here so that you can put through easily. Now, the next stitch over here. Same thing one, two, three. Put through two. Two, two, and two. And now you yarn over four times. One, two, three, four. Go to the same stitch. Same thing. Put over. Put through two by two. And we have come to the marker here, which means I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. And because here we yarn over four times the treble, we're going to do the same here. One, two, Three, four. One. You put through two, put through two, put through two, and two. Then you're gonna yarn over three times. Go to the same stitch. And put through two, 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 and two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, now let's see this side if I have eleven stitches. So this is a yarn over four times, yarn over three times, again yarn over three times. One, two, three, go to the next stitch. Oops. Put through two, 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 and two.
then I'm gonna do a treble I'm going to yarn over twice go through two two and two then you do a double crochet into the same stitch then you do a half double crochet into the next stitch then you do a single crochet into the next stitch then you do a half double crochet in the next then you do a double crochet in the next now you're going to do a double crochet followed by a treble in the same stitch put through two by two and I've come to the marker here it's time to chain three yarn over twice because it's a treble crochet then you do a double crochet into the same stitch and a double crochet into the next stitch and a double crochet in the next and a half double crochet into the same stitch and then after this next stitch I'm going to do a half double crochet another half double crochet another half double crochet and a double crochet I've come to the end here but let me just double check if I have seven stitches just in case I might miss out one or two one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so it looks like this okay now for the easy part you go to the top of this chain two and do a slip stitch and then I'm going to chain two and do double crochet on top of every stitch then inside this space I'm going to do two double crochet but this time I'm going to chain two instead of chain three and another two double crochet into the space two two Oops. There's 11, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, okay. Two more into the space. Chain 
chain two. This is a fun part where you don't have to refer to any books or paper or memorize. It's a single double crochet on top of every stitch. Unlike the earlier row. So what do you use to hold your granny square? I use those uh, pack box, a uh, board, you know those board on the, that you can stick to the wall Then they have this pack for you to hold on to things. I'll show you later when I'm done with this. I find it kind of useful besides hanging my photos or, or poster or whatever or keychain. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So I use my pack board to hold my granny square. <laughs> This is my first granny square, so I'm going to do more of it in the future. Not sure how near future or how far future. <laughs> but it's kind of fun to explore every single thing instead of just string one, right? Well, it depends. There are people who like to specialize on amigurumi or clothes or blouse. Just do whatever you're good at but I prefer to do variety I'm the type who cannot stick to one type for too long it has to be a variety <laughs> and so my YouTube channel does not have one special item it's a kinda quite a variety like to explore and try new things from time to time. So far, which is your favorite in my channel? Which do you like most? The amigurumi or the clothes? Or maybe the granny square? Or you're new to my channel? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. Okay, I've come to the end here. That was fast. The last part here, even though you have reached the last stitch, just in case you might not know whether that is a... Just count and see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I should stop here and instead of continue here. So here, I'm gonna cut the yarn and make it go through this the top of this chain tree and make it go here actually it does not show in front because this is pink and this part here is white I 
kind of like this color where it's pinkish white with a red heart <laughs> okay i'm gonna cut the yarn here and if you notice it will curl a bit so that's why i need to put it on the pack so you have boards like this you can get this type of uh, pack should i call it a pack <laughs> Put it here and you just put your granny square through and after a while it will maintain its shape look at this so which do you prefer this side or this side so thank you for watching hope you like this tutorial Hope you find this beneficial to you and I look forward to seeing you in my next post. My next post will be a granny square bag.